confrontations, when you fight with someone verbally or physically and you need good vocabulary even in those situations because you're trying to intimidate the other person, not be intimidated, use the right jargon based on those situations. We rarely talk about that, but why shy away from it? We know that we face these situations with friends even, with family even, and of course with strangers or someone just meeting you on the street at night and you get into some confrontation or there's something that someone is doing and it's none of your business, but you wanna speak out because what that person is doing is incorrect and you feel that you need to say something. So here are some words that you can use daily 15 words, hopefully not daily, just whenever you run into confrontations with people when it's that kind of situation. The first word you should know is a disputed. So when you are in a situation where there is lots of controversy, lots of issues, and there are people arguing, there are people maybe having some physical animosity, all those situations in that whole environment, that atmosphere is called a disputed atmosphere or a disputed situation where people are fighting they're in confrontation, and that is not an ideal situation to be in. Now, if you're talking with someone and you're com you're claiming your rights to maybe a refund or um, something that you think belongs to you, you can say that this is disputed. That means there's an argument going on over it between someone else or someone else or between you and the other person. Uh, you can say that this is not yours or mine, it is disputed, let's take it to court, for example. Word number two is bicker, and that is exactly what you would use in this situation, because what you're doing right now is you're bickering with the other person, which means you're arguing with the other person. So if you see someone or some people arguing with each other, they're also bickering. Bickering is a synonym of the word argue. It is a verb as well. Word number three is assault. You hear this word a lot on news. Assault could be verbal or physical, and that basically means attack. So if you are cursing someone, you're saying some derogatory words to someone, that is an assault and it's a verbal assault. But if you are actually going out and beating someone down, that is a physical assault. Or if you're being beaten down, that is an assault as well. And that's why we use the term assault charges whenever we talk about police getting involved, because that means someone has been hurt, most likely physically, and that's a physical assault. Word number four is strike. Strike is the word that is a synonym of the word punch. Now, if someone punched you, you can tell them that someone stroke, struck you, and it could be not just with their hands, it could be they struck you with a pipe, they struck you with a piece of uh, metal. It could be anything where they used an object or their uh, bare hands to beat you up. So those punches are strikes as well. We see that a lot in MMA. When commentators are talking, they talk about how many strikes one person had versus the other, and that usually decides the winner. The next word is accost. So if you accost someone, and this could be a very normal situation, doesn't have to be a situation where you're fighting, but it could be a work situation. So your boss came to you really aggressive and uh, claimed a lot of bad things about you. You know, I heard this, I heard that, and you haven't been doing your job. So you can say that, why are you accosting me? Now that simply means that person, or that boss in this case, is coming to you with a lot of aggression and it's verbal, it's directed at you, and it shows that this person is very aggressive verbally to you, trying to blame you for something, or trying to tell you something inappropriate, and you don't appreciate it, it is not polite. So that aggression verbally is done when someone accosts you or comes to you with that uh, really control freak attitude or with a confrontational attitude. The next word is ambush. Ambush is an attack as well. It is always physical, not verbal. So if you are being ambushed or you ambush someone, you're attacking that person. Ambush usually is used with a group setting as well. So if someone is being ambushed, it's probably a lot of people who are attacking this one poor person. The next word is withstand. Withstand, so we've been talking a lot about aggression and people beating other people. What about defense? When you defend yourself, you can also say the word withstand. Withstand is very similar to defending yourself. So someone punched you, you withstood past tense, withstood the impact of that and you punched back. Or there were a group of people who ambushed you, but you were able to withstand it because you have amazing resilience. And the next word is vulgar. Commonly known, if you don't know it, vulgar means something inappropriate. It could be inappropriate language or actions as well. So of course, if someone is cursing using bad words, 
we're saying that this person is being vulgar, maybe in a party, maybe on the street, or if they are using actions which are inappropriate, which are not fitting the norm, and it's very unethical to use those actions, they are using vulgar actions, or we call it vulgarity. They're displaying vulgarity. That is the noun. All right. The next word is unmannerly. Unmannerly is someone impolite. Simple. Impolite, unmannerly, same thing. Now, it is more of a formal thing to say. And you can go to your boss and complain about your employee, or you can go to your teacher, complain about that student, and say they have been unmannerly in the group, or in the class, or in the job at work. So, unmannerly is basically impolite. Don't say it in informal situations. It's not a street conversation, it's more of a formal talk. Um, but when you are in front of someone who you just want to call rude, you want to use the word boorish. Okay, so this is more of a formal or informal word as well. Boorish is someone who is rude. So you want to tell someone in public, hey, you have been rude to your kid or you're being rude to this person. You can also say, don't have this boorish attitude or you're being boorish. It simply means you're being rude, a replacement of rude if you don't want to say that. Next word is imprudent. Imprudent is someone who doesn't show care, who shows a lack of care. So imprudent driving is someone who's driving the car without really caring. Basically, someone who's being really reckless. That is an imprudent person. A lot of people mistake imprudent for rude. It's not really rude. Imprudent is someone who just doesn't care, who shows a lack of care for everybody around them. And uh, it is, again, not in a positive way. It's always negative. And uh, we have now next obscene. Obscene is very similar to vulgar. I would say that it's almost a replacement of the word vulgar. So obscene gestures, obscene acts, obscene, obscene uh, words, these things are things that are unethical, inappropriate, and not becoming. These are things that you look down on. And if someone is cursing at you, you can tell them, I don't want to hear your obscene language. So that is, again, something that is very vulgar, rude, or inappropriate. And now we have almost towards the end of the list, barbaric. Barbaric is someone who's uncivilized. So that guy was, his, his attitude was barbaric. So this means this guy's attitude was aggressive, was impolite, and was really rude. It's not positive at all. It's all negative. So if you're barbaric, it's like you're one of the animals in the jungle. You're not very polite or civilized. You're just a very aggressive, rude person who nobody likes. And finally, uh, actually, we have two more. So we have take a hike. Now, this is something you would hear in movies quite a lot. It's not a word. It's a phrase. Take a hike. Take a hike means take a walk. Hike means walk. So someone is facing you and they're getting up all your, on your face and you just don't want to have this confrontation. You want to avoid this confrontation. You want to tell this person or people, take a hike. It simply means you don't want to talk to them. You're telling them, hey, go away. And this is a very, you can call it a macho way of telling someone to go away because it is something that can ignite a fight because you're not being polite. You're not saying, I'm sorry, let's not do this. You're saying, take a hike. It's like, you know, go away. Go away, little kid. I don't want to talk to you. It's like that. And be careful when you use it because the other person might not like it. But it's a way of telling them, take a walk, go away. And the final word we have is crook. Now, crook is something that is used for a lot of situations. So it is used for corrupt people or people who are showing unethical behaviors or people who are just not acting the right way in the society. They're doing something illegal or unethical. Why I wanted to show this word here is because why would you get into situations with people where you're fighting? Maybe you're criticizing someone. Okay, so there's a politician, you're in the crowd and you want to call them out. You can tell them, hey, you're a crook because you took our tax money and you spent it in wherever. Okay, so when you accuse people of something which is illegal or unethical, you can call them crooks, given that you have proof that they're actual crooks who have done some action which is unethical or illegal. And that's it, guys. Those are our 15 words for today. For all the confrontational situations you might get into, very handy vocabulary, not only for those situations where you're in, but also when you talk about the situations, referring to other people and or you give your account, your version of your story. Hey, guys, when I was in this fight or when I saw this fight happening, this is what happened. So very useful words for you to use when you describe those situations. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys very soon as usual. Take care. Talk to you soon.